Mazda Australia is so keen to get its hands on its first compact SUV that it shipped the CX-3 less than a month after its world debut to Australia with its chief engineer and chief designer for this world first media drive ahead of its arrival here in March next year. But with petrol, diesel, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, manual, automatic, and at least three equipment grades, the CX-3 will offer more choice than any model currently available. But crucially, it also offers more luggage space than the Mazda 2, which has one of the smallest boots in its class. At 264 litres, this is hardly class leading, with cars like the Holden Trax offering 350 litres, but it's certainly better than the Mazda 2. CX-3 also comes with the Mazda 2's classy soft-touch dashboard. But it remains to be seen whether, like the Mazda 2, the base model misses out on the classy 7-inch colour touchscreen with command controller and reversing camera as standard. On the road, as you'd expect, the CX-3 drives a lot like the Mazda 2. That means nice, tight body control, excellent ride quality, lively steering and a little bit more noise than its major rivals. We drove both mid-grade petrol two-wheel drive and high-grade diesel all-wheel drive versions of pre-production Australian spec models. The petrol was a little bit peppier than the diesel and we think um, given it'll be cheaper it's going to be the pick of the bunch. Final details are yet to be confirmed but we expect the CX-3 to start in the low 20s and finish in the low 30s. Combined with sleek styling, solid handling and a wide model range, we see no reason this won't be Australia's top selling compact SUV. In fact, Mazda's only problem may be getting enough of them.